Okay, folks, welcome to Smart Living. I'm super excited because I have Carrie Carnes, who is with APS, and I know you're going to tell me your title because we just went through this. <laughs> But basically what she's going to talk to us is ways that you can save on your air conditioning bill. And she's actually created some great programs or worked with APS to create some great programs that help us throughout the summer months. And as you know, today, the day that we're recording this segment, I think it's actually going to be about 114 degrees. And we are not even in the month of July. Yeah. Scary. So, Carrie, welcome. And please tell us ways that we can save on our bill. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited and I'm super passionate about the programs we're going to talk about today because there are so many programs that APS offers that can help customers successfully manage their energy usage even through the hot summer months. Yes. Okay. Well, one of the programs that I know about and that I actually use is Cool Rewards. So for a lot of people in the Valley, some people really know about it. Can you explain for us how that works and how that's going to save us money? And actually, collectively, as a community here, it actually helps us all because it takes the strain off the grid. Am I correct on That's that? That's exactly right, Daphne. Okay. So the Core Rewards program is part of APS's virtual power plant, which is essentially kind of a, um, a collection of connected smart devices across our customers, homes and businesses across APS's service territory and the state of Arizona. And the Core Rewards program specifically is for our residential customers and, and also recently our small and medium business customers okay. to uh, c bring in a smart thermostat and connect it into this program. And you'll receive an annual bill credit of $35 for participating in this program. And really what it does is it changes the temperature on your thermostat just a couple of degrees on a few of the hottest days of the year. Okay. And as you mentioned, when you add all those up, it makes a meaningful dis difference on the grid and helps support the reliable operation of the grid. So last summer, for example, um, all of the thermostats provided 138 megawatts of support to the grid on one of our hottest days. Okay. That's the same as uh, several small quick start uh, power plants. So you're saving the start on those on those um, conventional power plants. You're saving the fuel on, on that as well. Mm -hmm. So that also represents a savings for customers as well on the whole, whether you're a participant or not. Okay. So we're really excited about... Uh, leveraging the technologies that our customers are already adopting right. to support the grid in that way. It's a really cool program. Now, let me ask you a couple questions. Now, I signed up for the Coal Rewards program, I think, two years ago. But one of the things, and tell me if this is no longer an incentive, but you get a discount on those smart thermostats. So those of you that are listening, you're like, what's a smart thermostat? Just think Nest, Nest yes. thermostat. <laughs> so the thermostats that do all the digital things for you, and you can program it on your phone. That's a smart thermostat. Yes. But they were offering a discount, so at that time, and, and I don't know about the dollar amount, but I got like almost 50% off. Are we still offering that? Absolutely. That's huge. So it, our customers can go to APS.com slash marketplace okay. and visit the APS marketplace, and there's a variety of thermostats that are available. And if you're newly purchasing, you can get, and enrolling in Cool Rewards, you'll get uh, the $85 right off at the purchase. Okay. So it's really effective way to just kind of get up there, get yeah. it installed, and then it's already pre-enrolled. So when it ships to your home, you just install it, and you're already in the program. It's oh, so easy. Oh, okay. That's why I didn't have to do yeah. it. And that's why yeah. another one I had to do. Okay, got it. Okay, that makes sense. that was intentional for us because we wanted it to be easier for our customers to join. You know, yeah. before we launched the Marketplace, we did have some bring-your-own thermostat programs. Right. But it was a lot more cumbersome to join and not as easy for customers to find it, right? You'd have to go to the store store, buy right. your thermostat, mail in your receipt, and then it would take a few yeah. bill cycles to kind of show up on your bill as a credit. So having this happen all at the top at the point of purchase oh, yeah. makes it so much easier. You know what? I always say this to uh, businesses, make it easy for customers to do business with you. That's so right. if you want us to have these thermostats, you have made it easy for us to purchase it. That's Bravo. Right. Thank you. APS. Thank you. Bravo. <laughs> okay. So with the cooler words, now you did say that you get $35 off credit off your bill. Now, one of the questions I had is that annual because you know I'm hoping for that credit. Yes, ma'am. That is every <gasps> year Yay! that you participate. Okay, that's you're huge. Get $35. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, that's helpful, right? And the other thing that we did um, in recent years based on customer feedback is we used to apply that $35 in June before it started getting really hot and bills started kind of growing a uh -huh. bit, right? Based on customer feedback, we increased that from $25 to $35 and we shifted that payment to your September bill. So it's applying to a bill that's likely going to be higher than your right. June bill. So, so that helps a little bit. It helps a little Boy, bit. there's a lot of thought that you guys put into this. There was a lot it's, of intention put into this program. I'm impressed. Exactly right. My team is very much focused on making sure that we're delivering a, a, an exceptional customer 
customer experience. And then we're constantly thinking about what it means to be a customer. Right. Also, yeah. many of us are customers. Right. I'm a customer. I'm a Cool Rewards right. participant. I'm on a, a time of use with demand rate. So we're, we spend all year thinking about that. Right. And also reaching out to our customers. We, we are very intentional about reaching out to our customers and incorporating their voices into our program design. And it's really important to me um, that we don't just you know, design a program and push it out and then never come back. I right. want to constantly check on the health. Is it working for you? Right. Is it not? Is there something that we can do differently? Is there something that we can communicate differently? And so having those constant surveys and, and, and talking to real customers, it's such an important part of my team's design process. Right. So one of the things, I think the program is perfect, and I would highly recommend it to anybody. And last summer, I remember, because we had a really crazy hot summer, and it's going to be like this, if not worse, because we're in June, 114. Did I mention that at the beginning of the show? So right, right. So so what I did notice was that, like, during certain times of day, I would notice my, it would just go down, like, one degree. Like, it was, like, almost, like, cooling it down a little bit. That's right. And then you'd see it, like, bump up a little bit, and that's when the anxiety would start. But it would just be, like, one or two degrees. But what I really loved about the program from a consumer standpoint was the communication, was that I got an email or some sort of notification. I don't even know how I got it, but I on my phone, text, whatever. But I knew that that day, so I would say... Eric, do not touch the thermostat. If you see it go up, leave it alone because it's a, a cool rewards program. So I appreciate that communication because yeah, you forget you. about. Now, one other thing I'm curious because you said like you like to experience things as a customer, and I'm a customer yes. too. Yes. Now, did I need to sign up again this year, or does it automatically, or did it give me a reminder and I just forgot? You are already enrolled. Okay, that's what I You're thought. Okay. So if you I'm will hear from us if for some reason your thermostat has become disconnected. Okay. So, for instance, sometimes our customers will update their Wi-Fi password, for yeah. instance, and you don't really think about going back and reconnecting yeah, of course your not. thermostat. But but if that happens, you'll have heard from us. We'll okay. send you an email and reach out and try to get those thermostats okay. reconnected. So before we move on, I just want to wrap it up. So I, as a consumer, can basically get a smart thermostat for at least 50% off because $85, I think you can get like a smart thermostat for about $150, a real nice Nest one that has all the fancy stuff. And you're going to pay $85 of that. Then you're going to ship it to my house. It's already, and then I'm simply going to just install it, which really is very easy to do. Um, the instructions are great. You could even look on it on YouTube. And then I don't even have to sign up for the program, and I'm going to get $35 credit, and then I'm also going to let you guys manage, and you're going to manage my thermostat the best way possible that you feel that will benefit me and that will benefit the grid. That's Did right. I get that right? That's right. The one thing I would add to that also is that it's important to us that our customers understand we have what we call the APS Cool Rewards Promise. And while your thermostat might be enrolled and participating in the program, you, rem you retain the ultimate control. So if, yes, for instance, right. you're having the example I use frequently is I've enrolled in the program because I have a smart thermostat and I like getting a $35 credit mm -hmm. every year. But maybe today I'm having guests over yeah, and, you want and I want cool. them to be comfortable. I, it's important to us that our customers retain that control. So that's the only other thing that I would add. To right. That. You can opt out anytime you want. Yeah, Absolutely. You retain control. We yeah. will occasionally call events on your thermostats on the hottest days of the year, but it is your home, your business, right. and you choose what works for you. And if I remember the notifications, they're usually like, you can, you can always opt out. Like, you don't 100%. have to do this if you don't want to. And as long as you're in the program, you still get your $35, right? That's right. Because, you know, look at me. I'm like, I want my $35. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, I want my $35. Yes. Okay. So thank you so much for, for explaining all of that. And I will have all of that information on my blog at smartshopperdaphne.com. Okay, moving on. Yes. Super cooling your house. Yes. That is the thing. Yes. Um, I heard about this about eight years ago. I actually had somebody from APS mm -hmm. explain to me the whole concept yeah. of how it is. And then I was like, I don't know. It's like one of those debatable things. So first of all, what is super cooling your house? What's the concept of it? Yeah. And how does it benefit? I know that's three questions at once. No, but it's perfect. Super cooling or pre-cooling is a really effective technique to help save energy use during the on-peak period. So if you're on one of our time of use with demand or time of use rates, you'll have your residential, if, and you're a residential customer, your mm -hmm. on-peak period is 4 to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so if you pre-cool or super cool, what that means is you turn your thermostat down a few degrees during the middle of the day when we've got clean and renewable energy that's abundant on the system. And it will essentially cool down your house and your home acts kind of like an envelope and holds that in, right? It stores that up. And so during the on-peak period, your air conditioner either won't run or, or it will run less. So that ends up 
translating into energy savings for you. Okay. So in my home, again, I'm a t- I'm an APS customer on a time of use with demand rate. So seven to four is your four to seven p.m. Four to seven p.m. Mm-hmm. is your on peak. Period. On peak. Okay, yeah. that's the time you don't Monday through Friday only. That's correct. Okay, Monday through Friday. Excluding holidays. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> this past Wednesday You're was very... Juneteenth, and that was a holiday, and that was an all-day <laughs> off-peak. So You know what, Carrie? I have a nickname for you. I'm going to call you the Aster Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. We forgot. Side note, but it's good. Note, excluding you're, holidays. You are on top of it. Sorry. That's important, I right? And we're, we want to make sure that people are able to celebrate holidays and be comfortable in their home um, without being super worried about right. things like their energy usage. So um, super cooling for me. I'm a customer. Mm-hmm. I turn my thermostat down. I normally keep it at about 75 degrees. I okay. kick it down to 73 for a few hours before on peak period. Okay. And it does get, I mean... You know, 70, wait, first of all, pause. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm going to throw you off for just a second. You keep your house at yes. 75 degrees. Yes. I like my puppies and I did. Okay. Puppies. You must not be from here. <laughs> no, I am. Really? You grew up. Oh yeah. You have. Cause you've been at ABS for <laughs> yes. a lot. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. My personal choice. Cause I'm like, it is. I'm judging that one. I'm you sorry. You can judge me. Cause I'm like, fair. I'm I like, I, one of my renters, I'm like, he can't, he keeps the house at 72. And by the way, I include utilities in one of my rental properties, <laughs> which is crazy, but I can't split the. The meters up. Anyways, he keeps his house at seventy two. Yeah, that's so. I call him on the phone. I go for me personally. I go seventy two. I go no, no, no. Go back to where you get. I'm teasing. But anyways, (laughs) get back, get back to your thing. So you super cool. So you keep it seventy five. You cool it down to seventy two. Seventy two or seventy three for a few hours, and then I kick it up to seventy eight during the on peak period. Okay. And last summer I was able to manage my demand to one kW, approximately a one kW across the on peak period, and that resulted in some major savings for me. So one kilowatt, like what would be? Can you give me like perspective on that measurement? Like one kilowatt. Now I understand what a kilowatt is, yeah. but one kilowatt is like practically nothing. Well, let me translate it in dollars. Okay, fair enough. Right. So in the summer before, summer of twenty one, I because I'm an energy nerd uh-huh. and I wanted to. I, I think it's important to have these experiences 100%. so that I can communicate it to our customers. I'm right? totally going to go home and yes. program everything. So <laughs> I did not pre cool or, or super cool in the summer of twenty two. Okay. In summer of twenty three, when I ran this super cooling schedule on my Nest thermostat. I also have a Nest thermostat at my home. I saved $100 on my July bill. So Mm. it it translates into real dollars and cents savings for our customers. And so that's really why those smart thermostats can be such a useful tool. Mm -hmm. I mean, not only for the Cool Rewards program, which we've already talked about how much I love that program, and I encourage everyone to join that program. But also just in effectively managing your energy and your mm-hmm. home life, right? Maybe you're going on vacation yeah. and you want to turn it up so that your your units aren't running while you're mm-hmm. away, mm-hmm. but you're getting it, you're getting to the airport, you're traveling right. home. You can just go right into your app yep. and, and pre-cool your home a little bit so right. it's comfortable when you arrive home. So I just, I'm a huge fan of, of smart thermostats. Oh, for 100%. A 100%. Everyone the scheduling feature, everything. Like yes. literally after this podcast now, I did say that I was going to be, you know, heading out of town here. But literally after having this conversation, I'm like, okay, Monday, as soon as I get back, I'm going to start super cooling. But that leads me to another question. Yes. Now, not a lot of people, I, I don't know what the percentage is, have solar. But would that, would super cooling apply to people who have solar? Because I have solar. So we have about 14% of our customers with solar. So it's, it's, that's, a, a, lot. it's that's a lot of customers. Yeah. But yeah, super cooling can work for, for everyone. It's it's a good technique. You should use it. At the, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Because when you have solar, basically it's the opposite concept. Yeah. So during the daytime is when we're like, Doing the dishwasher, or, you know, I'm plugging in my car. I'm doing. We're doing. We're using as much energy. Once like six o'clock hits, that's when we're done in the kitchen. We're yeah. tapering off because the nighttime is when we're actually. You guys are paying. Uh, we're we're using your electricity. That's now. right. And if you think about, it's a similar concept. You're doing your wash in the middle of the day. If you pr- super cool your home at the same time, then your air conditioner is going to work less h- hard across those early evening hours. But yeah. it's still. Warm in the, in the central parts of the state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is a great concept. Okay, any other savings that APS is offering for us in terms of like summer savings or any oh, wise things that we should be doing? So many, so many savings <laughs> opportunities. <laughs> if you go to APS.com, there is a variety of programs that are available. Um, we've got a new program that we've recently launched, which is called the Qualified Technology Installers. Um, if you haven't had your HVAC unit uh-huh. serviced recently, you definitely suggest that customers go and look for a qualified um, 
a contractor that might be able to help you maintain your system. Definitely make sure that you are changing your air filters at least yes, once a month. 100. I live and die by my calendar personally, so I have a, a monthly reminder on my calendar. I believe this. So if it's not on my calendar, it doesn't happen in my life. Okay. I mean, I know my limitations, and that's one of them. I would also just encourage folks to remember that, you know, uh, during the summer months, your windows are really, uh, Mm -hmm. they're a way for for kind of heat to get into your home. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're closing your blinds and windows, especially if they're south or west facing uh, until the sun sets. Um, and, and looking for things like LEDs, right? You can mm-hmm. save so much energy and there's less ambient heat coming off of LED light bulbs. Yes, there is. Yes. Like you don't even feel any heat you, coming No, out. it's great. So if you don't have, I mean, many people do, but it's, it's a good reminder. We also have what we call the um, virtual energy checkup, which is a really cool tool that we actually launched during the pandemic uh, because you, we used to be able to have home energy audits, which we yeah. still offer, of course. Right. But we've, we've really had great customer feedback on the virtual energy checkup, and it's leveraging your existing technology that you already have. Right. So using an app, you can c- connect it with an energy advisor and look for energy efficiency opportunities around your home. Oh, wow. So that's non-intrusive. So non-intrusive. And then you have to worry about somebody coming to your house. Yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. I didn't know about that. That's a really cool thing that we, we, we did it. I mean, if there was not a lot of good things that came out of the pandemic. No, but that that was was one one of the few good things. We wanted to still uh, make sure that we were providing support to our customers. And so we continue, we decided to continue it because we got such great feedback and it's like, you know, not everyone's comfortable with having someone come in their home and it's a good starting point, Mm -hmm. right? If you, if you do this virtual energy checkup and then we can connect you with someone who can perform a qualified, um, contractor that can perform whatever work might need to be Be done done to help the efficiency of your right. home, all of that translates into savings. Right, which is important because tell me if I'm wrong, not to go backwards a little bit, but with super cooling your home, one of the key things is that you have to have a well-insulated home. If your home isn't well-insulated, then it's not going to work, right? Well, you definitely want to make sure that your home is well-insulated. You also want to check kind of around your doors, make sure you've got your weather, yeah. you've got good quality weather stripping in and around your windows. Sometimes, you know, you just need to close some small gaps, but yes. I call that caulking. Yes. Caulk every everything in your yes. home that you can. And not only that, can I just throw something in there? Yeah. Scorpions too, yeah. you know? Yes. There's many reasons why you want to seal your house. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Carrie, I so appreciated you coming on, taking the time out of your day because I know you're very busy and I appreciate you doing that to inform the people that listen to the Smart Living Podcast. It was some good stuff there. So thank you again. And Miss Carnes, what was your title with APS one more time? I am the Director of Customer Technology at APS. Got it. Okay. So there is the lady that knows it all. So thank you for the 411. And Carrie, again, I appreciate you. I'll have all the information on my blog that we talked about along with those links because you definitely want those links. You want to get into that Cool Rewards program. It'll be there at smartshopperdaphne.com. And I will see you and listen to you next time. And don't forget, I'm Daphne Monroe, your Smart Shopper.